Hi, here we have an LG TV and the HDMI inputs are no longer working. So if I was to go to the aerial, the TV channels work fine, the free view channels work fine, but when I go to HDMI 1 for example, none of the HDMI's work. It starts doing the handshake, connecting, but then it doesn't actually do anything, it says no signal. Okay, now I know this is the HDMI chip on the back of the board, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually try and heat it up and see then if we can get it to work again by heating it up with a hairdryer. Now a lot of people take the whole board out and they put it in the oven, but because I know it's the actual HDMI chip, I'm purely gonna put the heat on the HDMI chip just to see if it starts working. So let me just show you the back of the TV. Now I'm just going to unplug it from the mains just for a moment because I'm going to be showing you the circuit board. Now what you need to do is to find the HDMI chip in this instance it's this one here. But to find it all you've got to do is find your HDMI ports and if for example if you look at the tracks coming up Bearing in mind now, remember this TV is now off, so there's no electric going into it. Don't uh, don't muck about with the back of the TV with the power on. But if you look at a HDMI port here, can you see the tracks go up, and then you can trace them into the chip. So this one here goes up here into there. This one goes. This one goes up the back here, along here, and into the chip. And I've got a HDMI port just at the side here. And this one, if you trace the tracks, goes all the way down, goes along here, and then it jumps up here, goes through here, along here, and into the top of the chip. So this is the chip that I'm going to apply the heat. I'm not going to take the board out of the TV. I'm just going to apply the heat directly onto the chip, and I'm just going to use a hairdryer. Now, when you're doing this, if you're going to try this yourself at home, don't uh, obviously don't have the power onto it but just uh, so keep it all unplugged from the electric when you're doing this. But just for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna set it up with a little mirror there. It's, uh, it's only a small mirror, but what I'm hoping to find is that as I start to apply the heat, I'm hoping then that the signal will start going through and hopefully you'll see the screen light up in the mirror. And, uh, but just, just, just so you know, this is only a short term measure. I did this before and it only lasted for about a month or so. So the, the long-term fix is to get a new board, or uh, if you know what you're doing, I presume you would be able to solder a new chip in here, but uh, the long-term solution is to get a new board. Right, hopefully you can just see the LG saying no signal there, just in the mirror, obviously it's back to front. I've just put the back of the TV over this side because obviously it's plugged in at the moment and I don't want to touch against the electrics there because I don't want to get electrocuted. As I said before, do not do this normally with, your, uh, with the power going into the TV. So I'm just going to heat up the actual chip itself and I'm hoping that uh, it will start to... The, I've got it connected to the Roku medium player, I'm hoping it will start to kick in. And there you go, can you see now? It's kicked in. So if you have a look at the screen there, let's bring it round to the front. And there we go, that's all it needed. Okay, and just to show you it now, if I go to input, now TV antenna like before. So that's that one. Go to input, go across to set top box. 
There you go. So uh, the reason I wanted to do it with the power connected is just to show you it kicking in, so just to show you how much heat it actually needed. So as you see, it didn't need much heat at all, but that won't last long. It, it will probably only last another month, but it's just to uh, tide you over, you know, if you're getting paid at the end of the month or it's a short-term solution until you, until you get it fixed properly. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. 